and welcome to the first episode of Filmmaking with Fraser. Uh, some nice alliteration there I think you find. Uh, this is just a very quick um, introduction video really to this new strand, uh, this new vlog as it were, that I have decided to take upon myself to do um, on a regular basis. So let's just dive straight into it shall we. So welcome to the first episode of Filmmaking with Fraser. Who am I? <laughs> Question that I always ask myself. Uh, I'm Fraser Cool. I'm 35 for the time being, 36 in a few days. Uh, I'm a filmmaker from Glasgow in Scotland and I'm also a writer and a producer and a director <laughs> and basically everything else I can have a go at. Uh, I'm also a cosplayer and I work with the Ghostbusters of Glasgow and we raise money for charities around Scotland as Ghostbusters because that's a cool thing to do. Um, for us anyway um, and that also lets me do a Get Your Geek On vlog um, where we go around comic cons and geeky events and do geeky things and basically just get a feel for what goes on at comic cons and interview the cosplayers because that really interests me why people do it um, and how people can help other people become cosplayers um, and also to interview the event organisers as well to see what they what they do and why they do it. The first time I ever worked with Cameron Stone, it was on my low-budget martial arts action movie, Lightning Fists of Vengeance. You know, he has this primitive animal sexual magnetism. You know, versatility? That's Cameron. I'm doing this vlog because I've been in the industry for 15 years now, which is kind of terrifying. Uh, I left college in 2004. And I started my production company, Celebi Films, in 2005. And I made my first short film-ish, uh, proper short film, in 2005. So, yeah. I've decided to take the experience I've had so far, both uh, working in the industry. I joined TV properly in 2013 as a runner on the production talent pool. I've now, I'm now a researcher, but still climbing the uh, ladder in TV. Um, and... Uh, I've decided to take the experience of making short films and making a feature film and two web series and writing and learning how to be a writer and be a better writer and I've decided to just put it all out in there, out in the open, the ups, the downs, the good, the bad of working in TV and being a filmmaker in Scotland. So I've decided to do a vlog about it so you guys can get a little feel for it and maybe learn something and maybe decide to you know, have a go at it yourself, maybe decide to try and be a filmmaker or an actor or a writer or whatever. made 10 short films since 2005 to 2013, so my last short film was 2013, um, and I think it was the interrogation, I'm not sure. There'll be links below uh, to all this, all the short films that I've made and all the projects, so you guys can check them out. I'll also put them up on my Patreon page, so you can have a look at that. I've seen scumbags like you come and go in and out of that door. Oh, yeah. You're the big man. You think you've made it? Well, you have now. Three big ones would be the 90s Day web series and film, uh, which was kind of the first big project that we did with no money whatsoever. Then I did One Year Later, which was our first proper crowdfunded project, which we successfully achieved and paid everybody. And I got to work with Simon Weir and April Pearson and Mark Wood and Reese Williams. And we made a lovely little romantic comedy with a sci-fi twist because I can never quite get away from sci-fi because I'm a bit of a nerd. Um, so that was good. We managed to tour that around the film festivals and it was very well received and one of my favourite projects to date. So please do check out one year later. But 
as these videos go on, I will kind of get into a few, select a few short films and talk about how we made them and how we got them funded and whatnot, so you guys can learn a bit about that. And then there's Cops and Monsters, <laughs> which is undoubtedly the behemoth of my uh, career so far. Um, Cops and Monsters is an ongoing police procedural where we follow the Paranormal Investigation Team Scotland, or PITS, as they police and protect the supernatural community in the near future Scotland. Um, so far we've raised over £18,000 on Kickstarter to make nine episodes. Uh, series 1, or uh, which is 8 episodes, uh, now on Amazon Prime. It's now streaming in over 60 countries, which is really cool. And I think we're about to be added on to Google Play, which is cool. Um, we've got 5 episodes still to go to finish Series 2, but crowdfunding is kind of grinded to a halt. And it kind of took a personal toll on my mental health, uh, trying to get more episodes funded. So I've kind of put that on the back burner just for now. Um, and I'm focusing more on a new short film called Dream Girl, which, again, I'll get into in a later video. Um, but that's the next big project. After seven years, I'm coming back to short films, fingers crossed. And then hopefully that will kickstart more interest in Cops and Monsters All Going Well or some more funding avenues that we've not explored yet. And then maybe we can get those last five episodes funded. He's illegally in Zone 1. You know the penalty for that? Penalties? This could be the solution to the whole zombie problem. Right, I've got a solution right here. What if you're there with your grandparents? Wouldn't you want someone to try and help? There is no help. You're just being cruel. Telling her there's hope. Telling her that thing is still her husband. Would it not be better to pop him in the ground and let her grieve? My goal, my personal goal, is to keep writing and to get better at it and to become a really good writer, much like my peers, and hopefully write for shows such as Doctor Who or The Flash or Supergirl or any any or Winona Earp, any kind of sci-fi fantasy show because that's that's where I think my voice is. Um, that's what I enjoy writing the most. So to do that would be fantastic. That That's the dream that I'm working towards at the moment. Uh, Long-term goal is to produce a TV for Amazon or Netflix or whoever will have me, whoever says, we like your voice, we like what you have to say. Come, here's some money, come write for us. Um, that would be awesome. And to maybe run Doctor Who one day in the future, that'd be cool. I know who I'd cast as a doctor, but more on that later. Thanks, Rebecca. You're welcome. I don't trust you. I beg your pardon? Just because you're getting fired into the chief doesn't mean I trust you. Well, Becky, it really doesn't matter whether you trust me or not. I'm here to help you stop something really bad from happening. Why are you doing that exactly? Personally, I'm quite fond of this world. I don't want to see it disappearing. Do you? What can you expect from this channel, from this vlog, from this Patreon? Um, basically, I'm going to be doing little vo little videos about how I made certain films. I'll maybe do scene breakdowns, talk about my career in general. Um, I've got I'll have a little blog for Patreons only, which will just be kind of weekly or bi-weekly explaining where I'm up to in my career, the jobs I've applied for, what I'm trying to do, writing, you know, trying to get films made, uh, trying to get Dream Girl off the ground. Just a kind of, just a little personal insight to what it's like to be a writer and an, an indie filmmaker slash director slash producer slash writer um, in Scotland. So you guys can just get an insight of what, what it's like. Um, I'm also going to interview some other filmmakers and writers and directors and actors around Scotland and basically get their insight into what they do, why they do and how, how you can do that as well. Or maybe you're just a fan of film and maybe you're just curious to know how they're made um, at a much more grassroots level. So we'll, we'll invite you in behind the curtain to see how that's done. Um, I'll also do some live streams, I'll do some Q's and A's, uh, do some polls so you guys can tell me what you'd like to know, what you'd like to see. Um, we'll revisit some old short films of mine, we'll revisit the web series, the feature film, Basically, everything I've done so far, um, I'll kind of do a little review on that and you guys can see what's going on. Um, I've also got the Get Your Geek On vlog, as I mentioned earlier, and that's still going to be going strong. So, regardless, there's going to be plenty of content on this channel for you guys to check out. Look, you've been putting me ahead for years. What are you talking about? I've got the business. Yeah, but you wanted a family and I said it wasn't time yet. Well, I think it is now. I'm done fighting. Ow, ow, ow. Do you know how happy this makes me? Yeah, I do. And you're sure about this, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, and you can, you can still give me a baby after all the... Well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> I love you. I love you too.
Can we help you, Crusher? If you do join us on Patreon, then you can get early access to these videos and you can get videos that won't go out to the public and you'll get access to the blog and you'll get behind the scenes photos from any projects that we do, you'll get credited on them, you'll get added to IMDb if we do make any more short films or web series under the title of the project that we're making. Um, you'll get shout outs, you'll get personal videos. Basically, however much you decide, if you wish to support me every month, then it helps me buy more equipment, better equipment, it helps me make more short films, helps keep the electricity running, <laughs> it helps me to live while I'm applying for other jobs in TV and whatnot. Um, and hopefully it's an education for you guys as well. So that's that's what you'll get out of it. If you if you decide to become a Patreon, you can, for as little as £3 a month, all the way up to £25 a month, um, you can check out the tiers on my Patreon page. Again, the link is in the description, so please do check that out. You'll also get access to videos earlier and videos that won't go out to the public, but I think I've already said that, so I'm now just repeating myself. Will you be my wife? Yes. Oh yes, David. A thousand times, yes. I can't believe it took you this long to ask me. Shut up! I'm nervous enough as it is. No wonder you're nervous, dressed like that. Like you're wanting to talk. Hey, these are my best clothes. I make them look cool. You've been wearing them for a year now. Well, happy anniversary! Seriously, Stephen. How do I look? Um, why should you support me? Well, you don't have to. No one's forcing you. But it would be very nice if you did. Um, I'm just, I'm just a normal guy trying to follow his dreams in in Scotland uh, and beyond. And it's not easy being a self-employed independent filmmaker. Um, there aren't a lot of jobs that you can apply for. Uh, I'm at the mercy of the BBC and Channel Four and various indies waiting for them to employ me. Uh, as I said, I'm a researcher now, but I still do the occasional runner job. I've just passed my driving test. I've just got my driving license. So I'm hopefully getting enough money to save up for a wee car and then hopefully do more running work or driving work with the BBC or whoever uh, to help pay the bills. But yeah, in the meantime, I I need help to be creative. Unfortunately, it's, it's hard to be a creative um, full stop because there's not a lot of money going around, so um, if you want to chuck in a couple of quid every month or more than a couple of quid, I'll be extremely grateful for that. And in return, hopefully, you guys will get a bit of an insight of what it's like. I'm sorry, David. He uh, he didn't make it. <laughs> what? <sighs> there was there was just too much damage to his brain. Could, but in the end, we, we just couldn't get him back. <laughs> but he's my brother. I'm very, very sorry. I'll give you a moment. But uh, we'll need to discuss organ donation with you. And that's it. That's the introduction video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the video's been much better than this. This is just an off-the-cuff. Hello, welcome to the video. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to what we're doing. Uh, please do check out the Patreon page. Uh, unless you're already there, then hello, welcome to the Patreon page. Uh, please check out my other vlogs. I've got some short films about. Check it all out. Check back. And I'll see you next time for the next video. And hopefully it'll be a bit more exciting than just me telling you what this video uh, channel is going to be about. So thank you very much for watching. And this has been the first episode of Filmmaking with Fraser.